So YouTube world, ZLI23, y'all already know, man. Coming at y'all with another video, man. Gotta get this wisdom, man. Y'all already know, man. I, I don't even know. Do I even have to say it? Man, get this wisdom. Gotta get this knowledge. You gotta get this divine understanding, you know, upfulness and understanding about creation. So I wanna come at y'all with another video, you know, just to kind of update y'all, you know, on uh, my life, my experiences. And I have been getting deep into college. That's what I've been thinking. Um, just to give y'all a whole story, I actually have this story in my book, in my handwritten book, um, as an introduction, just so you know how I came into spiritual consciousness. Uh, when I first came into spiritual consciousness, I really started learning where I was like, wow, like, why get taught from somebody else? Why get taught at an institution that was Eurocentric? Um, very Eurocentric. Uh, it didn't speak too heavily about, you know, the black, melanated, negroid, African people and the perception as to how they express themselves in the textbooks and you know things like that i was like nah like fire a blaze you know fire a blaze upon it like i really don't want to have any hand in this confusion in this eurocentrism so i left i left college I started my own business, the MyNaturalRoots.org. I started that in my dorm room. I started that in my dorm room. Um, Cause I said, all right, well, if you leave it here, you are gonna need something for money, you know? So I began that site and um, I've had it for six years now. I left college when I was 19, 20, you know? So I'm 25 right now um, and here I am. I was just die hard into that, you know, the Marcus Garvey self-reliance. I still am, you know, I still am. I feel like everyone should at least have some sort of entrepreneurship on the side. If it's not your main thing where you wake up and you go to your own shop or you're doing your own thing online, at least have something on the side, at least, at least, at least. Don't depend on no one to pay you. You know what I'm saying? Um, at least have something coming in as an extra income on the side. When you create something, you know, whether it be jewelry, hats, uh, you make websites for people, uh, you teach people how to eat properly. Like, there's a million things you can do. You can grow produce, sell your produce, do something. You know, don't just rely on a job. So, Wow, I was super rebellious. I do give thanks like through those years because I traveled so much. Like I've been to Jamaica three times now. I've been to uh, Canada, Ghana, Ethiopia. Um, I lived in the Virgin Islands. I've been to St. John, St. Croix, St. Thomas. You know, um, leaving, you know, school definitely gave me a lot of time to find myself, you know, to learn myself, to travel. I'm very grateful for that. Now, the goals that I have for my life, I need a sense of financial security as opposed to just going off the website. I do have a part-time job as well, um, but I feel if, and that's why I got the part-time so that I wouldn't be working five days a week, but I work maybe three, sometimes four days, and that gives me about three days to work on my business, work on my website, and do me. Because of course, you know, when you working on your own business, it's things that you love, you know what I mean? So um, when you're working at a job, I'm not saying that you're going to something that you don't necessarily love, you know, but a lot of times people do. So that's why um, it's really my goal to actually enter school, to actually go into college. I know, it's like 23 talking about school and stuff. Uh, I was super rebellious, but now my heart is really, really ready to go into it and uh, get this degree. Um, they actually have multiple degrees. They have a degree, African studies degree, you know. Um, I really wanna direct my focus towards healing the trauma 
the mental trauma, the spiritual trauma, the sexual trauma, you know, um, emotional trauma, cultural trauma, economic trauma of so-called black, negroid, African people, melanated people. I'm, I'm just trying to throw out everything because people's like, yo, I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm not black, I'm African, I'm not African, I'm melanated. You know, I'm just trying to throw out everything. You know who I'm talking to, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, people of color, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, uh, of a darker melanin concentration. I want to heal this select people. I love the human race, but I don't think the Indian or the Chinese man will go into my hoods and, see, and assess what's psychologically wrong with the people that's living in the hoods. What's economically wrong with the people that's living in the hoods? I don't think the white man will come into the hoods and ask my people what's wrong, like, and have a genuine heart. You saw what happened when the Chinese, white man, you know, white man and woman, Chinese man and woman, different nations, when they go into Africa, what they do, it's just colonized. How, how can I manipulate? It's actually a word for that, um, but it's not coming to me right now. Maybe when I'm editing it, I can put it on the screen. But how can I use you for my country's game, for Europe's game, for China's game, basically? You see what I'm saying? So I want to have a direct focus, African studies. They have study abroad programs. You can actually, as you're studying your major, you can go for six months to a university in Ghana, in Senegal, in Cameroon, and study for six months just to get that experience. You can work at museums, be history teachers, you know what I'm saying? So I see myself as either in a museum or being like a history teacher because I feel like I know a lot. I need to be lecturing, you know, because if you if you just give me an audience and you give me ears, I will I'll be talking for a minute, but it won't be hot air. You know what I'm saying? It will be words of substance. So I'm looking into HBCU. That's my goal as of right now. I will keep you all updated. Um, love yourself, know yourself, and just always strive, always strive. If you got something burning in your heart, find a way. If you're looking at your current circumstance, your current situation, think of what you need to change because that sun is gonna rise like how it you know, rises every single day, it's gonna set, just how it sets every single day. So creation is gonna be the same, but it's your internal world you gotta change. So if you don't like your situation, your your circumstances, if you don't, if you're not in a place where you see yourself deserving more, you know, because trust me, I know we're spiritual. We're spiritual. We have the spiritual riches. But please don't be ashamed to have the material riches too. Don't be ashamed to have nice things. Just because you're spiritually rich and you're in tune with the source. That doesn't mean that because you have nice material things that you're somehow spiritually corrupt. But you have to have the correct spiritual and that's what attracts the material. You see what I'm saying? It's a reflection of what's already taken inside. Now in Africa, kings, queens, Mansa Musa, you know, one of the richest beings ever on the, on the face of the earth, from Mali. We're deserving of these things. And not only for you, but look to build generational wealth. Think of not only your children, but your children's children. Are you leaving them land? Are you leaving them two acres? Have you left them a car? You know what I'm saying? Have you left them a house? You know, are you giving them an inheritance? We gotta, we gotta change that psyche. Oh, you're 18, get out of my house. Go make a life for yourself. Nah, you know what? I've already got this built up for you. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going, while you're in my household, I'm gonna teach you the benefits or the the humbleness of having these things because I don't want you to feel like I'm just feeding you with a silver spoon. I'm going to teach you the value of this, but I'm going to make sure that I'm going to give you a lift up and you make sure that you give my children's children a lift up as well. You understand? So instilling those values. So Azad, Zaylock23, African Studies, HBCU, I will definitely update y'all as Time progresses as moments progress. So yes, family, be in tune. Be deeply in tune with the ways of the ancestors. Be deeply in tune with the ancient world. 
You know, I still like being in the bush. I love growing my food. I'm in tune. But just know it's also, it's okay <laughs> to be materially in tune as well. You're deserving. You know, we are gods on earth. So one perfect love, YouTube world. I keep y'all updated. You know what I'm saying? Let's have a conversation. Drop a comment below if you have any kind of relatable experience. You know, if you're in college right now, you know, if you left college, like, let's just reason on it. And yes, family, don't forget, the journey of an African soul is now on my website. It's on www.mynaturalroots.org. Three hours worth full of me traveling to Ghana, West Africa, through Ethiopia. Yo, just go over to the website, check it out. I got a lot of things over there for y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. I'm gonna keep y'all updated. So one perfect love, family. Enjoy yourselves. Create your reality. Remember, we are guys on earth and you are deserving. You are deserving. <laughs> so one perfect love. Bless it.